Hello, and welcome to a very virtual Christmas without tears. Can you believe that it was in this very room 20 years ago that this party began? Yes, we surrounded ourselves with the most talented people we knew, only the most talented, and we gathered around this very piano and we sang, we did our party pieces, we drank, we ate, we had a good old sing-along whilst a CJ Vanston type was at the piano playing those. Today we have the actual C.J. Vanston here at the piano. Yes, no looky-likey's here. You know, I've often said that I've struggled with Christmas. I do struggle with Christmas. And when I first came over here, I found myself living in a virtual paradise and I became depressed. Because for me, Christmas means that consumptive, dank, Dickensian, cold, depressing uh, London that I grew up in and it really threw me and so as an antidote to that depression we began this party it worked and I think this year we need it more than ever because let's be honest this is the first hopefully the last COVID Christmas any of us will endure you know when Judith says she is prone to depression um, some people think the glass is half full some people think the glass is half empty Judith thinks the glass is half broken. We uh, moved this party out of our house to, of all places, Walt Disney Concert Hall in 2005. Katrina had happened to New Orleans and we moved it there to raise money for New Orleans. And ever since we've been touring cities around the world, at least the English speaking world, London, New York, Chicago, New Orleans, San Francisco, Los Angeles, Seattle, yeah. to uh, raise money for music communities and for uh, agencies that are helping the homeless people in those communities. And now this year, we're actually supporting musicians and small venues. We're gonna tell you more about that later, but we're trying to make it possible for musicians to get through and to be there on the other side along with small venues. So to kick off tonight's show, I'm gonna start as I always do with one of my own songs. Harry Darling, please. Introduce me. I will. Ladies and gentlemen, the woman who is just talking to you. No, seriously. Ladies and gentlemen, would you welcome, please, Mistress Christmas. Miss Judith Owen. So if there's one thing that COVID has taught us all, that is that people mean everything and that things do not. Buy me an Xbox and feed me some licorice. Tie me in tinsel and sing at my door. Buy me the latest, the greatest in everything. Drown me in chocolate wool, who could want more? But the best things, yes, the best things, they come at no price, yes, they're free and they're nicest. They're what you remember every December. And the best things, yes, the best thing, the best thing this Christmas is you. What would I want with a fast car in my drive? What would I care without you?
Thank you, Rick Owen, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, me. Thank you for asking. I'm Harry Shearer. And um, you're hearing the tinkling. Well, you're hearing the piano playing. The tinkling comes later. Of Mr. C.J. Vanston, who has produced all of my records, including the most recent one, The Many Moods of Donald Trump. Keyboard player of Spinal Tap produces a lot of other records and is our musical friend for the evening. I'm going to now favor you with a song that I've just written. And it's about a guy that we all know we've spent too much time paying attention to for the last four and a half years. That moment is soon to come to an end. But this is him at this time of year, of this year. A little song called, I Won Christmas. CJ, if you please. I lost the biggest contest I've ever had in my life. I've lost the will to find my next age-inappropriate wife. I lost the clout to flood the zone with self-generated strife. Christmas. I lost the chance to prove to my dad that I'm really a winner. I lost to a horrible candidate who makes me lose my dinner. I lost because my campaign guy was just a dumb beginner. But I won Christmas. Christmas time is special. It puts retail on the map. A perfect gift for your whole list. A MAGA cup and a MAGA cap. I lost the list of lawyers who wouldn't make me ashamed. I'm quickly losing track of employees who can't be blamed. I lost the way to find the leakers who couldn't be named. But I won Christmas. I lost my place on Rushmore. I lost my Nobel Prize. I lost the role as model in Eric and Donnie's eyes. I lost the chance to prove that my hands are normal size, but hold on to your gun. No way that I'm done, cause I won Christmas. Harry's gone off to make a double espresso. He's really committed to this show. She's one of my best friends, this next guest. She's never missed a year of Christmas without tears. Somewhere around the globe, she will join us. And is historically always the first to jump off the Christmas without tears diving board after Harry and me. You know, she's just released an incredible box set of music released and unreleased called Lock and Key. Here is, in this very house, the glorious Julia Fordham, joined on guitar today by Colin Ryan. This is Christmas COVID holiday. Home for the holidays I'd hope to get away From myself and from the door These four walls and Zoom calls This chain and wrecking ball I need a vacation A Christmas celebration 
the house trimmed with white snow Somewhere we can all go with everyone we know Twenty twenty, we will be happy to see you on your way No friends or family this COVID holiday My crushed red velvet mask covers my nose and laugh my new hand sanitizer smells of warm apple cider An old yuletide reminder Twenty twenty We will be happy to see You on your way No friends or family This COVID holiday Santa Claus is stuck in doors with Rudolph and the elves. All the coal and all the presents stacked up on the shelves. This COVID holiday. Twenty twenty, we will be happy to see you on your way. No friends or family this COVID holiday, this Christmas COVID holiday. both had the incredible pleasure of working with this next guest. What can I say? A thousand years of popular music. Cabaret of souls. He's a gentleman, a scholar. He's a rocker. He's an acoustic type. He's a poet, but he's a wit. He's a Brit. And that's what I really care about. And he rocks hard inside. Please welcome my friend, Mr. Richard Thompson. Happy holidays, everybody. Here's a seasonal little number for you. Oh, dear Santa Claus, are you totally insane? It happened last Christmas and it's happening again. Early Christmas morning, my heart begins to sink as I unwrap my presents and everything is pink. It's the wrong presents, the wrong presents Christmas isn't Christmas with the wrong presents I've got some hit them under the bed If the gang finds out I'm dead The elves have got my name wrong It's Terry with a Y There must be some poor girl out there called Terry with an I She's got my Xbox, Nintendo and Sony I've got a cabbage patch and my little pony It's the wrong presents, the wrong presents Christmas is a bummer with the wrong presents I've got some hidden under the bed Oh, if the gang find out I'm dead did you get my Christmas list? I want a cricket bat A football and a G.I. Joe And a cowboy hat You sent me a dolly With its own little pram Just what kind of boy Do you really think I am? It's the wrong presents The wrong presents Tantus gonna sent me with the wrong presents I've got some hidden under the bed oh, If the gang find out I'm dead Now the gang from down away have all been bragging about their ties Boxing day the streets were full of happy laughing boys 
There was ray guns and cat bombs and football in the park. I pretend I've got the measles and I lie here in the dark. It's the wrong presence, the wrong presence. Christmas is and Christmas with the wrong presence. I've got some hidden under the bed. Who if the gang find out I'm dead? I've got some hidden under the bed. If the gang find out I'm Jesus Christmas to you. Yeah. And this would herald the first New Orleans act that we have here today. Christmas without tears in New Orleans would not be right without our next act. They're an incredible family of ladies. I'm talking about Topsy Chapman and her daughters Yolanda Robinson and Jolinda Kiki Chapman, accompanied today by Kendrick Marshall. They are solid harmony. <laughs>
So I think now would be a good time for us to all look at some Christmas Without Tears past highlights, just to remind us all of what it is we're missing and what hopefully sometime very soon we'll have again. Enjoy. Tonight was Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. It was on TV tonight. Do you watch that special? It's one of my... F I mean, you can get it on DVD and download it and all that fucking shit, but I like it when it, it's broadcast. I want to see it. It's the darkest, sickest Christmas special. It is so layered. It's so layered. Because when you, you know, the, he's born with the red nose and the, the mother's sympathetic. She's like, oh, my son. And the father's like, huh, no son of mine's gonna have a red nose. You're gonna wear this piece of shit on it and you're gonna like it. He's like, no, daddy, I don't wanna wear it. It makes me talk funny. You're gonna wear this piece of shit. No son of mine's gonna have a red nose. What he's really saying is, no son of mine's gonna be a little faggot. That's what he's really saying. And then they sent him to those reindeer games with that fucking gym teacher with the cap. I hate that piece of shit. Comet. Oh, I hate him. And he's like, all right, you kid. Right, right. We're going to play reindeer game. Right, right. Let's see what you can do. And Rudolph, like, takes off, and he's the best one, and he flies, and then he lands, and somebody's hoof hits his nose, and the thing comes off, and then it's all red, and they're all like, oh, my God. It's like he got a heart on in the shower in gym class. It's all there. And then Santa, that fat fuck, he literally says to Comet, the gym teacher, oh, that's too bad. He had a good takeoff, too. So he still doesn't have a good takeoff because he sucks reindeer dick? What's the problem, Santa? What's the problem? And then he runs away and he meets Hermie, the dentist, who's like, I don't want to be an elf, I want to be a dentist. And they go off to get, and it's just... <laughs> We're a couple of misfits. I am not such a misfit. <laughs> and they end up on the island of misfit toys, which is just, I mean, you know, they get this, the, 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 the gun that shoots jelly and the, the train with square wheels and the little doll with the spots. I don't know what's wrong with her. She doesn't have a vagina or she has shingles. I have no idea what her problem is. You know, and then there's like, oh, look, it's the Jack in the Box. He's like, no, I'm not a Jack in the Box. I'm a Charlie in the Box. Rudolph, let go of my key. Ooh. It's a big gay bar. It's all there. <laughs> and he's like, look, if you want to stay on the island of Misfit Toys, you have to talk to King Moonraiser. There he is flying over the moon. It's King Moonraiser. <laughs> and then there's Yukon Cornelius, who's like a big gay bear. He has a sled that's pulled by like a Pekingese and a Chihuahua. I mean, it's ridiculous. <laughs> He's like every guy in Chelsea, a big guy walking little dogs. If you've enjoyed the show and wish to donate more to the charities, go to gofundme.com forward slash CWT2020. And thanks again. Hi, it's Paul Schaefer, and I just uh, wanted to say how much I personally appreciate what's going on here this evening, the support that everyone here is showing, and all you people at home, of course, showing for musicians, uh, venue owners, venues, uh, promoters, uh, roadies, everybody who, and it's not just us musicians, I think it's everybody in the world. We miss live music, and boy, are we ever gonna be happy to get it back when all of this is over, but when it's over, we hope there's something to bring back. So these people have got to survive, and. and it's so important to, for us to help them do that during this time of quarantine and pandemic. So everybody do your part. Merry Christmas. Thanks to you all. And here's a little big chief. That's all I can muster up. Merry Christmas. You know, this really is an international show. Our next guest is from Australia. He lives in France. And we met him in New Orleans, remember? What's he running from? Um, yeah, himself mostly, I think, um, and all that culture. So, um, 
I found myself taking up the name of my stream show for fuck's sake because this particular man said, Jude, do you have any idea how many times you say for fuck's sake in one sentence? He really is an incredible artist. And when I told him that could he not bloody well cripple me with the licensing and shit like that by playing a classic, he went and wrote this song. It's humongous. It's a monster. Please welcome the truly remarkable Dave Blankhorn. Christmas time is almost here Moment you've been waiting for all year You wrapped those presents and I brought that tree Life is so sweet anywhere with you and me Christmas time Christmas time is all the glow I've never been happier, don't you know It might be cause my friends aren't here Drowning our sorrows in that one last beer Christmas time is almost here Christmas time has almost come Never knew my love could be so strong Laughed and cried the whole year through But it's all okay, cause I still got you Christmas time Christmas time, Christmas time is almost here. Oh, Christmas time is almost here. Oh, Christmas time is almost here. Christmas time is almost here. Hey guys, Merry Christmas and thank you so much, Judith and Harry, for inviting me to be part of Christmas Without Tears. Oh my God, I've wanted to be part of the show for years. Anyway, uh, this song is called Please Tell Santa Claus and it's pretty self-explanatory. Please tell Santa Claus we need Christmas like never before. Somehow And if it's not 
sometimes you need to get a little deeper into the spirit of things. It's, it's this time in the show when I feel like I want to get to the other side. Nobody does that better than our next guest. He is a paranormal phenomenon who reaches into places, crevices, you never even knew existed. Please welcome Clinton Baptiste. You're yeah. right. Spirits very, very strong tonight. The AU pack it in. My name is Clinton Baptiste. I'm a clairvoyant, a medium, and a psychic. I'm a Reiki healer, feeler, dealer. I offer transcendental meditation workshops. I offer after dinner speaking, some corporate away days. I'm competent in ballet and tap. Uh, some role play work, Murder Mystery Weekend, Cargit registered. And behold, the eternal candle that must never be extinguished. Though the batteries are. Oh, that's got it, yeah. Namaste is all round, guys. I want to make that perfectly clear. This Christmas, lovely. It's been very difficult times. Wonderful, oh my God. Wonderful year is going to be next year, 2021. But there are so many things in this world, aren't there, to make us feel depressed. Uh, COVID, uh, war, terrorism, uh, Mrs. Brown's Boys has been recommissioned. So I think we all could do with a little bit of cheering up. I've certainly spruced up my act. What I want to say is, though I deal with the dead, I want, I want you to understand that I'm not blasé about it. Some people are. Some people are very blasé about it. I was at a funeral the other day. And the widower moved over to the vicar and he said, uh, can you tell me what the Wi-Fi code is for this place? And the vicar went, outrageous at your wife's funeral. And he went, right, and is that all lowercase then? There are many, many mysteries to this world, which I attempt to unravel. Um, how did the oceans form? What is the meaning of life? How did... Amanda Holden get to judge a talent contest. All mysteries! But what I want to emphasise is that I am very well read in the spiritual and the scientific. I read all the great authors, um, Professor Brian Cox, Carl Sagan. Um, Man is cosmos, right? That's, uh, that's Sagan. Um, science is spirituality. What wonders do I see in my mind's eye whenever I shut my eyes? Cox. Wonderful. So what I'm going to do is try and contact the dead for you tonight. But what, what I really want to do is just put you in the picture as to exactly who I am. My name is Clinton Bouncy. I grew up in Bolton. Now, for those who don't know, Bolton is a town in northern England named after the Anglo-Saxon word Boltoniathan, which rough translates as ye oldie town with ye shit football team. I was uh, grew up in a traditional nuclear family, by which I mean it was highly toxic, a lot of fallout. My mother, may God love and protect her. She's still alive, but she lives in Stockport, you know, so it's worth saying this sort of insurance. Uh, she brought us all up. She said to me once, she said, she said, Keith, what on earth are you going to do when you leave school? I said, mother, I told you I'm not like the other boys. I have something extra. She said, now, they told you about that, the pharmacy. Stop picking it. I said, no, no, I'm going to be magical, ethereal, the lord of my own dimension. She said, oh, come on, Keith. Stop being a prick. You can come and work with me at Iceland. Uh, that's right. I was Keith in them days. Now, Clinton didn't come till some time later. I'll come to that. I was the youngest of three. A lot of pride in my brother and sister. Right, you'd hear it in the street. You walk down the street. But, oh, look, there's, there's, there's Sarah Baptiste. She plays in the Lancashire Youth uh, Youth Orchestra. Oh, there, there, there's Brian Baptiste. Yeah, wonderful. He won the Manchester Youth Science Award. Oh, there's Keith Baptiste. Keith! You remember Keith? He won't shit himself in PE. The name's at school. Poo Pants. Fu Man Poo. Puella Deville. Charlie. And his Chocolate Pants Factory. Poor Keith, I'd come home. My mum would be too busy to deal with me. 
you know. And my dad, he started going to work nights when I was about 12 years old. And it was extraordinary, very spooky, because whenever he went out, I could swear a poltergeist came into the house. I could hear him from my bedroom. I could hear laughing, giggling, floorboards creaking, my mum's headboard banging against the wall, yeah? When my mum left us for a fella called Reg with a small holding in Edgeworth, I told my sister I predicted it. Now, this would have been forgotten, but about a week later, I predicted a horse race for my dad. With me winnings, uh, he bought me, you know, a, a flashy suit, you know, and I became a sort of clairvoyant in the family, you know. I mean, yeah, I, I couldn't keep the name Keith. I mean, the names I tried, um, what did I try? Solomon, uh, Philippe, Akel, Philafel, you know, lovely. I decided on Clinton because it was, you know, it was the name of my favourite one of my two favourite shops in, in, in town, you know. It's named after Clinton Cards. And, you know, Chicken Cottage sounded a bit shit. So I stuck with that. Anyway, listen, what I want to do, I want to get to the point. I just want to say this, that Christmas is a lovely time of year. I've done a lot of Christmas cabarets. Uh, I had a lovely, lovely uh, girlfriend, Maureen. I used to do Christmas, Christmas cabarets with. Oh, she was lovely. A little bit older than me when I went out with her. I was 25, she was 79, you know. Huh. I know I've, been, I've been called it all, the names. Oh, you know, uh, ooh, Nanny Magnet, Cardigan Lifter, Biddy Fiddler. But I tell you something, this is not to be denied. Honestly, if you go out with an older person, I'll put it this way, they can teach you so much when it comes to matters in the bedroom, how to you know, strap an oxygen tank to the headboard for a kick-up, you know. But she died, Maureen, you know. But then one night, I heard her. She came to me. I knew it was her with her sex talk. She said, Clinton, turn off that electric blanket, unplug that iron lung on the bedstead, flip me over and play the B-side. Tell the good people at Christmas that there is life after death. I first met her in 1993. I was playing a variety of, I'm nearly done, a variety of clubs up and down the country, terrible places. Uh, oh God, awful. And she was a, a fire eating act. And I've got to tell you, she was shit at it. Honestly, you know, she had people running away, you know, terrified of her. It was dangerous, you know. I tell you what, she, <laughs> She was, let me show you, dangerous, useless, she was fire inting, you know, fire blowing, fire swallowing. Anyway, this is her, uh, that's her there, you see. <laughs> Maureen. I first met her, you know, at Glasgow Empire, is where it was. You know, oh, Blanche, she took the roof off the place. Fire extinguishers weren't working. But we had a wonderful, wonderful time together until she died. But as I say, she's with me this Christmas and always. As are all you. So hopefully see you next Christmas when we can do this live. Spirits, fade in now, people. <laughs>more piano we need more nola i need more booze because i'm not quite fucked up enough so we're gonna have some more nola inspired music right now let's hear galactic's own stanton moore with yet another monster pianist david torkanowski and a monster bass player james yeah. singleton please welcome the stanton moore trio <laughs>
It's okay, we're not going to do it, but we do need to have a song that we can sing along to and I want Harry to introduce this next one because it's one of his favourites. Indeed so, thanks Judith. Uh, it's a song by an English band, here's England again, an English band called Squeeze, Mr. Chris Difford accompanied by Melvin Duffy from his garden somewhere in England, doing Cool for Cats. Take position in the bushes and the grass. The score is with the couple, she is tied against a tree. She doesn't mind her language, it's a beating she don't need. She lets us all the horses when the couple is asleep. And he waits to find the fires dead and arrows in his head. And David Crockett words around and says, It's cool for cats, it's cool for cats. The screen is still in 90 because they got the word to go. To get a gang of villains in a shed up at the road They're counting out the fibers when the handcuffs suck again They're in and out all once with flipping numbers on their names the Funny how the missus always looks a bleed the same And meanwhile at the station there's a couple of lucky lads Who swear like as you fuck around their bed back to the days of Top of the Pops when Cliff Richard used to come on and he always had dry ice and he used to swan about everywhere it's like he didn't have any legs so here we are in our shed being a bit Cliff <laughs> being a bit Top of the Pops shave up at the disco and I think I've got a ball some questions as she ends onto the wall. I kiss her for the first time and then I take her home. Invite her in for coffee and I'll give the dog a bone. She says she likes the disco so she's always on her own. I said I'll see you later and I'll give her some old chat. But it's not like I'm on the TV when it's cool for cats, it's cool for cats. Fagan, Steely Dan, you know, we won those Grammys that time. Anyway, it says here, the current pandemic has shuttered almost all music venues. I know that's true because I'm unemployed. And musicians in major cities like New York, Chicago, Los Angeles, and New Orleans, as well as in the UK, are struggling to pay rent and find ways to keep playing. Your ticket to the very virtual Christmas without tears will help. No more tears. We're going to take a few moments out here to talk about whom we're doing all this for. Uh, I just want to say, before Judith discusses the organizations, 
this is great fun, but everybody who's done these performances for you would rather be doing them for you with you sitting in the room with them. The energy flow that goes between artist and audience can't be replicated, even by Zoom. And that's what we're trying to preserve. It's so true, and and there is nothing like the feeling when you're in a room as a performer. Of course, it fills you up, it's the most incredible thing in the world, but as an audience member, I know that feeling too. There is nothing like live performance. It is a conversation, it is a shared experience, and we're all suffering without it. So. The reason we wanted to do this this year for these beneficiaries, and let me tell you who they are. We're doing it for NEVA, the National Independent Venues Association, Save Our Stages, USA, the New Orleans Musicians Clinic and Assistance Foundation, also USA, and in the UK, it's Help Musicians and the Music Venue Trust, Save Our Venues UK. Because like I said earlier, we need to know that there is a place for people to perform when this is done, and we need to take care of our musicians until this is over. Because as we all know, most musicians, not the, the 1% on top. The superstars. <laughs> Most musicians have a hand-to-mouth existence, and right now they're struggling. And as we all know, the arts, aren't, the arts really aren't supported greatly anywhere in the world, definitely not in, New, in America. Why so do you hate freedom? I, I hate freedom because it's so free. Uh, Good point. So thank you again so much. If you want to find out anything else more about these organizations, you can find out on my website, judithowen.net. We'll have something on Harry's, harryshearer.com. But please do find out about them. And again, thank you so much. Time for some more Christmas Without Tears highlights? I think so. The curtain of night will part and Christmas carols will fill your heart so if you wish long enough wish strong enough you will come to know oh, oh. Christmas will make it so
Hello. My name is Jeff Goldblum. How are you? This is uh, River River Goldblum. Say hello, River. Hello. And uh, I want to talk to you about something. I'm going to read it off of... I'm going to take some cues off of that paper. Uh, please, I'm talking to you. Please, please, please support your musical community. Imagine a world without musicians and venues. I think I know what a venue is. You know what a venue is, what? River? What? Huh? What? It's a place where you play. We need music in our lives, especially now. Please find more about all our beneficiaries and find out how you can help your musical community survive the pandemic. You know what a pandemic is, River? What? Hmm? What is a pandemic? It's, you know, it's the illness that's going around. That's why we wear masks and all that stuff. And uh, support all the music and the small theaters and venues. There we go again, the, the V word. Uh, that we're going to need on the, on the uh, other side of this uh, strange time. Sorry, I had an itchy nose. And now perhaps, uh, you know, I love live music, don't I? Do you love live music, River? Mm -hmm. You do? As yes, if they do. Yes, you do. <laughs> 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 yes, 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 yes. <laughs> well put. I couldn't have put it better myself. Thank you, Jeff Goldblum and River Goldblum. Signing off. Okay, goodbye. God, I'm just getting, I'm getting so fucked up. Anybody else be on the line? How about out there? You know, it's time to inject some fucking class into this whole thing. Oh, and you, by you, class, you, you scared me when you said time to inject. I thought it was going to be bleach. Go ahead. And by class, I mean some really great British people and especially some truly incredible British women. And I know what I'm fucking talking about because they happen to be my string players. No, they're more than that, but that's how I see them. They've recently played together on the huge Ackman, huge Ackman <laughs> arena tour amongst many. They're gorgeous. I love them. Please welcome Gabriella Swallow, Megan Cassidy, and the leader, Lizzie Ball. They are classical kicks. Woo! <laughs>
Hey, it's Steve Lukather. Merry Christmas to you, Judith and Harry. I'm so sorry I'm not going to be there. Or we're not all going to be together this Christmas like usual. It's been such a wonderful tradition. I love you guys dearly, you know that, and the whole cast always is just the best. So uh, in place of uh, wrote a song for Ringo uh, with David Page, Joseph Williams, and myself, and uh, Ringo wanted to play drums on it, so he did. This was for his 80th birthday, but it's also for Christmas. It's a happy song for not so happy times. All right, next year maybe we play live. If you've enjoyed the show and wish to donate more to the charities, go to gofundme.com forward slash CWT 2020. And thanks again. I can't even fake New Orleans piano for the guy we're about to introduce. He's a monster. He is a monster gentleman, ladies and gentlemen. He started out in um, Kent, England. You know that area well. Came over to New Orleans at the age of 19 and decided this is where I must be and started apprenticing self to uh, some of the legendary people around town in the seediest bars in town where the best music is often heard in New Orleans. And he is now acknowledged as one of the prime examples, exemplars of the New Orleans piano style as he carries it with his band, the Absolute Monster Gentlemen, around the world. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the fabulous Mr. John Cleary.
Folks, now that we've only got creationist Mike Pence in office for just a few more weeks, I think it's time for that terrific Cynthia Carl song, you know, She of the Christmas Smackdown that you can see online right now, performed today by another Christmas Without Tears regular. Please welcome the one, the only, Amy Engelhart.
you know, one of our favourite places to play every year. It was a lovely take, Harry. Mm -hmm. It's Chicago, or should I say Evanston? Yeah, space in Evanston. I can hear people in Evanston going, woo! They're quite the audience, aren't they, Harry? Yeah. We've seen men milking men. During the 12 days of Christmas, eight maids are milking. It's an exciting place for audience participation. Families milking families. It's been great. But you know, space is part of NEVA. This is the organization that we're supporting with this benefit for small venues to keep going. It is so important. And we love space. We love the people there. They support musicians. They're an incredible venue and organization. And so it makes me very, very happy. And honestly, I'm going to make CJ blush. I'm going to make him blush. Because he's this... not wearing any underwear. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that means. So, but here's the thing. He has prepared an amazing video. Every year, he and our next guest do this phenomenal performance. Another person that CJ introduced us to, most incredible musician, one of the most incredible musicians we've ever met. Please welcome CJ and the fabulous Mr. Howard Levy. <laughs> Thank you.
Hi, it's Leland Sklar here that I just wanted to say that I'm so sorry that we can't have a live Christmas without tears this year, but the most important present we can give each other is stay safe. And we'll be back next year. But I want to thank Harry Shearer and Judith Owen for always doing such a fabulous job every year and making this such a unique and special event. And I know the virtual one will be fantastic and I'm gonna be right there with you enjoying it. But, you know, it's a different world right now and we just need to protect each other and stay safe. And again, the greatest gift we can give each other is to look out for each other. So Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, Happy Hanukkah, everything, celebrate life. And I think that's important. And again, Harry and Judah, thank you so much for every year putting this together and raising money that's so important for, for your causes. Um, you're very special to me in my life and I'm so proud to know you and to get to work with you. So take good care, everybody. Merry everything. Okay, this is Santa signing off. Bye. Is it time for some more highlights? I think so. It's the season of giving And I've nearly completed my list But there's someone I yearn to surprise and impress And I'm stymied, frustrated and pissed Tell me what, what do you get for the man who has nothing? <laughs> nothing I think of seems quite enough. Perhaps some clean socks to stuff, but with what? My first thought was money. But how much would it take? I can't give it all And what if he's a fake? Ooh, a loser, a loser Some kind of abuser who hit bottom and got himself there how about a good square meal, but not at my house, I'd have to de-louse after he's gone. <laughs> As if he'd leave, I don't believe one meal would do, and I can't feed the man the whole year through. <laughs> Maybe he has a family I could find, unless they're like mine and the last people he wants to see. <laughs> I mean, if he's like me. A job, a job is what he needs. I'll find someone to give him a job. But if they end up murdered or robbed, I'll be sued. Then I'm screwed. Tell me what, what, what do you get for the man who has nothing? Hi, I'm John Goodman. You know, when times are good, Musicians and their venues make it that much better. It's so sweet to go to a place and just get your ears dirty. Well, now times are tough, and now the musicians need our help. I think it's time to give a little bit back. Find out more about our beneficiaries and what you can do to help live music, live musicians, <laughs> and their venues. Take care, happy holidays. Hello everybody, yes it is I, Ariana Umi Bobalas, here in Harry and Judith's beautiful home to record, to film my version of a very famous old carol today. I am supporting Christmas without tears, yes, very virtual this year, and we are benefiting musicians, not hugely famous musicians like me with a lot of money. No, no. I am talking to little people, little musicians who, who live the hand to mouth, to mouth, you know, and play in the tiny, 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 tiny van. I would never, never go to. Today, I am joined by an incredible pianist 
and his name is Jeffrey Young. Now, Jeffrey, I hear that you have played with my friend Sting. Yes, I have. That is Sting and I and Pavarotti. We played on this same bill. It's incredible. But I know that you played with many famous people. Tell us who, Jeffrey. Bo Diddley? No. Uh, Robert Plant? No, no. No, um, yeah, I know. Down home? No. Uh, who, who else? Tracy Chapman? No. No? Okay. Hey. Um, let's see. Um, Sean Colvin? Uh, no. But, no. But you have played with Sting, though. Yes. That you have played with I've played with your... Sting, yes, yes. Okay, so, Jeffrey, let us begin. The carol, it touched my heart deeply, deeply. Take it away. Too fast, too fast. Bring it down. Bring legato, pianissimo. so spiritual, you know. And anyway, do you think Sting would like it if you just started singing in the middle of his song? I mean, I, I ask you, Jeffrey. Yes, he likes a little rhythm and blues. He does? He does. Pays me good well. Pays me really well, too. Okay, Jeffrey, I have a question for you. No, that he's getting in trouble, you understand? It is all good. This is all good. But I need to know, I need to know who who booked you for this? For, do you remember the name? Oh, she's a very nice gal. Her name was Persephone. Okay, take five, everyone. Pizza. Let's have some pizza. Five minutes, Jeff. Let me right back. Oh, no, it's all good. It's all good. It's everybody. It's all good. Persephone! Now, if you are wondering, how come we're sitting here with no masks? Let me put your minds at rest. We are over six feet away from a clear and healthy. He's been tested. CJ Vanston. Of course, I live with Harry. So I know where he's been. Um, Harry, take it away, darling. Next guest. Thank you. Um, this is a guy who is a, a legend now, a modern day legend in New Orleans. He's sort of reviving and maintaining the Louis Armstrong tradition of a jazz player as entertainer. 
not just playing for himself, but playing for the audience as well. He's a barbecue swinger and so much more. Please welcome the great Kermit Ruffins. <laughs> Swinging in the Superdome Come on and do the Benson Boogie Let's whip their butts and go home It's Christmas in New Orleans And the Saints is on a roll And all we want for Christmas Is the Saints in the Super Bowl We want to go back to the Super Bowl The biggest Christmas present ever Come on coach, let's go to the Super Bowl Wearing that black and gold It's Christmas in New Orleans And the Saints is on the road And all we want for Christmas Is the Saints in the Super Bowl Swinging, swinging in the trimmy jack I got a big wish for Santa And it's not a new Cadillac It's better than grandma's cooking It's better than hot beignets It's better than a lot of money Much bigger than Mighty Gras Day We don't need champagne, no caviar Don't need no ice cold beer Cupid. Wait a minute, that's not true. I just had a rap with Santa and we took us a little stroll. I told him all we want for Christmas is the Saints in the Super Bowl. All the boys, who that?
Well, sorry to spoil the mood, but our next guest is um, not really the most serious guy in the world. He's a punster, wordsmith, inventor, and player of the guitar. Check it out. Please welcome the always ridiculous Mr. Phil Degree. <laughs> Decks when they use tear gas and tifa la 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 la. I hope that there's a hole in the ozone. Then eternity won't be so hard. I'll simply go right through that glory hole to spend eternity with my Lord. I don't believe glaciers melting Gonna flood this old earth I don't believe in global warming But I believe in a virgin birth It's a highbrow kind of thing, isn't it? We have been very highbrow, I think, so far. Um, but let's let's stop that right now, because for fuck's sake, it's time to just get down, get our feet in the earth. Come on, yeah. What do the words say? What do they say? Uh, he, he's going to know who's been naughty or nice. Something. Santa. Yeah, Santa. Yeah. Yeah. Santa, indeed. Well, our next guest really does know how to be both those things. Please welcome our burlesque queen from New Orleans. This is Trixie Minx. I'm Bellamy Young. I'm Pedro Segundo. And we're coming to you tonight from New York City. So sorry to miss you in person at a Christmas without tears, but very happy to be a part of this very virtual occasion. Um, thank you all of you for being here to support musicians and to support venues. We all got to help each other make it through this year. So we're sending you so much love. Yes, we are. And I hope you enjoyed tonight's. Yeah. Evening. And hope to see you all next year in person. I cannot wait for that moment. Someday soon we all will be together. But until then, we're sending you so much love for a very Merry Christmas. Happy, happy holidays. Woo, 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 ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. See you soon, bye June, bye Harry, mwah! Woo! Our next guest is quite the Broadway baby. 
Haven't you heard there's a Christmas coming? COVID, COVID. Our next guest is such a Broadway baby. You might know him best from Mad Men. Ooh. I love him because he's dapper, he's funny, he's a wit, he's a charmer, and he's so damn funny. Please welcome New Orleans' own Mr. Brian Bat. Hi, um, Merry Christmas. I'm sorry I can't be there in person, but this is the next best thing. So I have this wonderful Christmas memory. Um, my first trip to New York. I'd been wanting to go to New York and see a Broadway show for the longest time. So for Christmas, my mother and my grandmother decided to take me and they got tickets to see shows, but the one show I wanted to see more than anything was Gilda Radner live from the Winter Garden Theater. Uh, but it was sold out. So the minute we landed, my mom rushed to the Winter Garden Theater and literally begged the, the box office manager for two, three tickets, and she got the last three tickets with her good southern accent. And um, so we rushed back to the hotel to get dressed, and um, I had on a red plaid jacket, some wide whale corduroy pants, I think there might have been some, you know, wreaths on them and, and you know, buck shoes. I looked like a pedophile's dream. And uh, my mother came out of her room dressed beautifully, of course, and my grandmother emerged from her room with gloves to go to the theater, because that was proper. Anywho, we get to the theater just in time. They rush us to the box seats, and the, the lights are dimming, and the curtain rose, and out came Gilda Radner, and this is the first song I ever heard on the Broadway stage. A rooster says good morning with a cock-a-doodle-doo. Good morning. A horse's neigh is just his way of saying, how are you? A lion growls, hello. An owls ask where and why and who. May I suggest you get undressed and show them your wazoo. Oh, the animals, the animals. Let's talk dirty to the animals. Fuck you, Mr. Bunny. Eat shit, Mr. Bear. Well, if they don't love it, they can shove it. Frankly, I don't care. It was at this very moment I swore that my grandmother was going to grab me with her gloved hand by the scruff of the neck and drag me down the stairs, throw me into a cab, never to see another Broadway show. I look back and tears of laughter streaming down their face. The second verse. Oh, the animals, the animals, let's talk dirty to the animals. Up yours, Mr. Hippo. Piss off, Mr. Fox. Go tell a chicken, suck my dick and give him chicken pox. Safe. Oh, the animals, the animals. Let's talk dirty to the animals from birds in the treetops to snakes in the grass. But never tell an alligator bite. My, no, never tell an alligator bite. My, yes, never tell an alligator bite. My balls. Merry Christmas. Anywho. Now that we've brought the tone up, I want to introduce our next guest because really, this is what it's all about. Hi, fucking brow. I discovered our next guest when I was a guest at the Marlebone Festival in London. Yes, indeed. It's an entire orchestra of the best young musicians in the UK. And since formation, these whippersnappers have performed with the likes of Rick Wakeman Ooh. Pink Floyd, Christ, Paul Weller and Alfie Bo, to name, or even name just a few. Please welcome the Orion Orchestra. <laughs>
Please enjoy this Christmas Without Tears extended version with bonus performances after the credits. And to conclude this uh, highlight reel, uh, no, no light was higher than the moment in Los Angeles when this next guest blew everybody, including the building itself, away with this performance. What a way to remember him. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Fred Willard. Oh. Thank you so much, Harry. That's very nice. I'm humbled to, to be here. You know, occasionally this time of year, uh, my friends will say to me, Mr. Willard. And they call me Mr. Willard because most of them have always felt a little uncomfortable around me. They'll say, what is the true story of Christmas? And I said, come on, everyone knows it. And I know we've heard it a thousand times, but I think this is the time and the place. TJ, I think you're right on, on cue there. So bear with me for the thousands and one first time. And it came to pass in those days that there went out a decree from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be taxed. And Caesar's wife, the evil queen, spent her days shopping and looking in the mirror, saying, mirror, mirror on the wall, who's the fairest one of all? One day the mirror answered, it's your stepdaughter, the beautiful Maid Marian. The queen decreed that a hunter should take Marian out into the woods and cut out her heart. But Marian escaped and a handsome prince found her slipper and followed her. He found her in a manger in Bethlehem, doing the only work she could do, scrubbing floors and taking care of a baby boy child named Jesus. But whose baby was it? Nobody knew. So, I know you've heard it all, but I just... So the prince and Marian and Jesus went to live in the prince's castle and be happy ever after. But the wicked queen kept searching for them. And on December 7th, a day that will live in infamy, she captured Marian and Jesus and hid them in a cave. She left them one candle with enough oil to last for only seven days. This was called the dreidel. Well, everyone went crazy. The birds were flying all over the place, and the Japanese were fighting the Germans. <laughs> and the Germans were fighting the Russians, and Marion's little friends, Grumpy and Sneezy and Groucho, went to Santa's kingdom in the North Pole to get him to help. They thought he was dead, but a kiss from Grumpy, Grumpy awoke him. 
And it came to pass that Santa called out some reindeer. And together, Dasher and Dancer and Donder and Blitzen, Sneezy and Grumpy and Groucho and Vixen flew to Bethlehem to try to save them. But lo, they couldn't find the cave. And you know how, where this goes. If you want to say it with me, please feel free. And it came to pass that Groucho's brother Zeppo had become an agent and enlisted the aid of Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer to lead them. Now a star shone in the east and the shepherds were sore and afraid. And Franklin Roosevelt, a great man, calmed them saying, we have nothing to fear but fear itself. They found three wise men and bribed them with gold and Frank's incense and myrrh, which is a drink of milk and honey like mead. And the wise men pointed to where Jesus and, and Maid Marian were trapped. Well, together they huffed and they puffed and they rolled away the stone. And many people don't believe this, but you have, have to believe. They rolled away the stone, blocking the entrance, and saved them. And the baby Jesus came out and saw his own shadow. <laughs> I know you've heard it a million times, but... And he proclaimed there would be six more weeks of winter, and... And to this, this day, that's why the baseball season doesn't start until April. And the seven dwarfs chased the wicked queen back to her castle, and then Cupid shot her with an arrow, and she was filled with love and realized that being the second best looking woman in the world wasn't all that bad. At least she believed she was the second best looking. And after all, the mirror wasn't about to correct her. And Santa celebrated by going all over the world and giving out presents, and that's why we celebrate Christmas on December 25th. And as Santa flew overhead to the North Pole, he was heard to cry, Merry Christmas to all, and to all a good night. And everyone's heart from that day forward was filled with love. And that's why on the day after Christmas, department stores throw open their doors and offer great sales. <laughs> it's a true story of Christmas, thanks. <laughs> Now, you know, it wouldn't be Christmas without tears unless we had animals in it, you know, that kind of stuff. So here for the first time, how do we miss Doris Day? But here for the first time are our Christmas elves biting each other's nose, Aretha and Franklin. I hope you have a lovely Christmas. Stay healthy, look after yourselves, do everything you need to to be okay. We'll see you on the other side. Happy, happy holidays. And um, let's all look forward to 2021. Bye from me and Harry, Aretha and Franklin. Mwah. <laughs>
I hope you enjoyed yourselves as much as we did making it. Now, there were a lot of videos that got to us late or we couldn't get on. And so it seemed only right that we should prepare for you a bonus version, a highlight section that's coming to you right now of those videos because they're just too damn good to miss. Here they are. Enjoy. Tell your friends. Let's raise as much money as possible. Take care of yourselves and see you in 21. I'll be home for Christmas You can plan on me Please have snow And mistletoe And pray Marcus, dear boy, how very kind of you to, to phone me as, uh, I did I? I? I phoned you. Oh, splendid. Well, it's quite apposite as it happens because I've just sat down with a large sherry and 11 across six down. Have you got it? Mm? No, no, no. Heaven for offended. Do not tell me. But I've got a P and a, an O and an L and a Y, so it must be something parrot related. But it, 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 Mark, it, it matters not a jit, jot, because what I want to talk to you about is Christmas, plans thereof. Now, uh, shall you and Dickon be do-gooding again this year? Ooh, how terribly dispiriting, what? Samaritans and a food bank. Exactly is a food bank, dear boy, is it? Is it uh, Twiglets on the third till? <laughs> well, w why on earth don't you forbear uh, the brownie points in heaven and, and drop in on your poor, vulnerable godmother in tier one? Or tears before bedtime, as Rodney would have it. Oh, <laughs> Well, there's no need to fear COVID, dear boy. Nobody's had COVID here, save the vicar. And he's been self-isolating since the year 2000. Well, nobody really knows. The word in the post office is it, he was afraid of the millennium bug. Right. So, so, so can you make it? Can you? H how do you mean, out of your bubble? Oh, there'll be lots of bubbles here, darling. Rodney always opens a magnum of Dom Perignon. So there'll be all the bubbles you can consume. No. Oh, you mean lock up. Cock up, if you ask me. Well, gracious, what can one expect from that gaggle of fourth formers? Rodney refers to them as the eaten mess. <laughs> yes, yes, I thought you'd like that. Well, he hates the PM with a fearsome loathing. Testosterone level of a bonobo, noodles for hair, and the attention span of a troglobite is how he has it. Did you, Marcus, really? You fagged for him. 
Well, he's not a prefect now. I don't know how charming he was. It's a proper job, you know, running a country. Running it into the ground, if you... All right, well, we won't, we won't go there. Uh, it, it's chaos out of my front uh, door. The, well, perfectly sensible people whom I used to meet in the soon-to-be-defunct library are calling themselves anti-vaxxers. And, and they're blaming Bill Gates for everything. You know, Dorothy Perkins closing and, uh, well, not seeing their children since March. Well, I regard that as something of a blessing. Just hear those sleigh bells jingling, ring ding, tingling too. Come on, it's a lovely where the forest lay right together with you. Outside the snow is falling and friends are calling you. Come on, it's a lovely where the forest lay right together with you. Giddy up, giddy up, giddy up, let's go, let's look at the show. We're riding in the wonderland of snow. Giddy up, giddy up, giddy up, it's grand, just holding your hand. We're gliding along with the song of a wintry fairyland. Our cheeks are nice and rosy and comfy. We're snuggled up together like two birds of a feather would be. Let's take that road before us and sing a song or two. Come on, it's just lovely where the forest lay right together with you. Oh, da 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 da. So da 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 da. Help to book a spirit flight Tater tots in their eyes of Idaho Will find a heart of green sleeves tonight I'm going to do a song, ladies and gentlemen, from my 1971 Granada TV special, to this day considered an unaired classic. This is a song of mine called Paper Snow. It's a wintry wonderland. It's 
glistening fairy tale, an enchanted forest long ago. It's a world of make believe. It's Christmas Eve. It's the most romantic night And the stars shine so bright And the moon above is all aglow Please don't wake me from my dream Don't break the spell For I already know The stars are city lights the moon's a neon sign And it's really only paper snow Christmas once again 